Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel if you're new, and welcome back if you're not. Today, I'm going to be going over my daily routine in New World Eternum. I made a video like this before, but that was 8 months ago. And with the New World Eternum release, now's the perfect time to update it. So I'm going to be taking you guys through what I do when I first log in, all the way up to when I log out. The number one thing I like to do when I first log in is I'll open up my map, and I'll go over to the conflicts over here. And I'll just look through the conflicts and see if there's anything that I want to sign up for, any wars or invasions, or any races that I want to participate in. After I'm done checking out the conflicts, I like to go over to the trading posts and I like to check out my orders. I like to check on what sold, what didn't sell, and when it sold. And I'll just relist anything that I need to relist or anything that I want to relist. I'll just do that all now before I do anything else, really. The next thing I'll do is if there's an event going on, like right now we currently have the Halloween event going on, I'll go into the shop and I'll go ahead and get the chromatic seal or whatever item they're kind of giving away in the season. This item right here, just for this particular event, is a 5,000 gold item and you're saving yourself a bunch of money by getting this. I've saved 15 grand already just by getting it here. If there's no event going on, you can kind of skip that step, but for the next step, I'll go over to my faction shop here. I'll go to the rewards and I'll get all of the gypsum orbs that I can from this guy. There we go, I got my five gypsum orbs from this guy. And while we're here, if you're low on faction tokens, you can go ahead and run your three daily faction missions. I'll grab them, because I'll run them eventually. Next, what I like to do is I like to head over to the kiln, and we're gonna get the gold and matter from in here. If it's available, it might not be available to me yet. The cache of gold and matter. This is what you're gonna wanna get once the cooldown's ready. Basically just a free 1500 gold, why not, and some dark matter. Since that's on cooldown for me, I'm just gonna run my faction missions real quick, and I'll be back when they're done. Okay, we just got our faction missions out of the way, and I would highly recommend doing the PvP faction missions over the PvE ones, because with the PvP faction missions, you get more reputation, you get more tokens, and you get the PvP tracking XP, and that's huge. Overall, doing the PvP missions are just so much more worth it than the PvE, in my opinion. And you're gonna do three per day, because you just get a giant bonus for doing three, unless you're grinding the faction missions, and that's a different story. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to Cutlass Keys. So let's head down to Cutlass Keys now. Once we're in Cutlass Keys, we're gonna head over to the Well of Fortune, and when we're at the Well of Fortune, we are going to come in here, and you're gonna get the Glittering Gold Key if it's not on cooldown. If you have your gold coconut you're gonna go ahead and get one of your uh, apex gold cursed chests but what you're gonna come in here mainly do is get all of the dark matter you can you're gonna get all of the gold touch gemstone dust that you can you can get all the gypsum orbs that you can you're gonna get all of the gold touch honing stones that you can you're gonna get all of the gold touched oak flesh bomb you're gonna get the all of the gold touch proficiency boosters all the stat boost meals all the trade skill boosting meals and that's it once you've done all that then what you can do is you can do a uh, cutlass keys run if there's one going on because clearly i need to do one the cutlass keys run is going to earn you doubloons you can use at the well of fortune mm, i don't think there's a cutlass keys run going on but throughout my day i'm if i see a cutlass keys going on i'm 100% gonna have to hit that up so then I can keep doing my uh, well of fortune here now what I would do is I would go to activities and I would choose whether I want to run my three OPRs or whether I just want to run some mutations and sometimes I'll even mix it up Sometimes I'll just do a mutation first and then I'll switch it up to some OPR and then I'll just go back to mutations switch it up you're gonna do your random mutations uh, you get a daily bonus for doing two but honestly I pretty much just run these for the rest of my day or I'll do some OPRs for the rest of the day pretty much whatever I'm in the mood for and while i'm doing all of that stuff you're going to be getting some activity cards here and you're just going to be doing this passively throughout your day i have a video up on my channel if you guys specifically want to grind just the season pass and get it knocked off in a day i got a video up on my channel i'll leave a link down below in the description so you guys can check that out if you're interested in focusing the season pass and knocking it off in one day but right now i'm feeling lazy so i've just been doing it passively um i haven't really been focusing on it too much and that's pretty much it guys that's kind of how I end my day out is just by doing mutations and OPRs. I'll run a faction race later on in the day. Those usually happen around 8 p.m. So I'll run those later on in the day if I feel like it. I'll do an invasion or the war that I signed up for. But other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. Went over the trade post relistings, 
We went over the what you're going to buy from your faction guy, running the missions, getting the golden matter, going to the Well of Fortune, what to buy at the Well of Fortune, doing your Cutlass Keys run once per day, and hitting an event if it's live. If you guys enjoyed this little video and my routine on what I do day to day in New World Eternum, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below if you guys do anything different. Like, I didn't go over doing a harvesting run or a gathering run, and that's because all my skills are maxed out, so I really don't focus that. But obviously, you could slip that in somewhere if your skills are not maxed out yet um definitely go level up your skills all right guys subscribe to the channel because that helps out so so much leave a like on the video because that'll help out this video and i'll see you guys in the future i'm outie pa -pa -pa. peace